friends, loved ones, and beloved family. On behalf of the bride and groom, I welcome you to this gathering this evening as we witness together the uniting of this man and this woman in the bonds of matrimony. Long, long before you knew each other, even before your parents knew you, God knew you. Today, we all rejoice in the realization that from that very moment, God in His eternal providence and grace was preparing each of you as gifts to one another. You stole the light from the stars above and brought it here tonight. He was one of my best friend's older brothers, and then my freshman year of high school, he was a sophomore, and we had home ec together. So I just kind of got a huge crush on him, but I couldn't tell anybody because it was like my friend's brother. And she was always super sweet, super nice, super funny. I took her to homecoming one day, and that was that. From there on, I just knew like this is who I wanted to fight for then, and I, I just continue to want to fight for her now, and that's when I knew I loved her. I love yeah. you. Love you, you too. Look beautiful. Thank you. Put God first. Fit <laughs> each other. You ready? Mm, you look beautiful, baby. Thank you. Very, very beautiful. That's a cry. I made me cry, baby. Hey, you're gonna be excited. Oh, yeah. You see who she gets it from, man. She's a good one. Aiden's hey, getting a good one. It's what you want with your kids, though, honestly, to get them to this point, be good people. And she is. Ever since we first got together, he'd always tell me good morning that he loves me. Even when I first met him, like we weren't dating, we weren't even really flirting or anything, but I just felt like he was always gonna be in my life. And then one time we were riding in the car, listening to music with the windows down, and I was just like, I wanna marry him. I think I even told him that. I was like, we're gonna get married. It's just kinda all throughout the time we've been together, he just always had been in my life for as long as I can remember now. I just couldn't imagine it without him. Today you are perfect, not perfect in the sense that you are flawless, but perfect in the sense that because you have trusted God, you are forgiven, you are whole, you are just exactly who God has made you into. This is better than flawless. Today, by virtue of the covenant that you're making with one another, you are stronger than ever. Your very spirits are being woven together with God's spirit. The covenant that you're making with one another today is your armor that must protect you against the challenges that will most assuredly come. To keep your covenant vital, remember to always keep the prayer pipeline to God's grace open and flowing. You are free from the fear of failing one another because as both of you decide in your lives to trust God, He has promised that His love will never, ever fail you. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Do you, Aiden, take Carmen to be your lawful wedded wife, promising before God with your loved ones present as witnesses that you'll be to her a loving and devoted husband, that you will provide for her and protect her and remain with her in every situation, whether sickness or health, prosperity or adversity, 
and that forsaking all others, you will keep yourself to her and to her only as long as the both of you shall live. I do. Do you, Carmen, take Aidan to be your lawful wedded husband, promising before God with your loved ones present as witnesses that you will be to him a loving and devoted wife, that you will honor him and remain with him in every situation, whether sickness or health, prosperity or adversity, and that forsaking all others, you will keep yourself to him and to him only as long as the both of you shall live? I do. <laughs> I, Aiden. I, Aiden. Take you, Carmen. Take you, Carmen. To be my wife. To be my wife. As you receive and accept this ring. As you receive and accept this ring. I hereby seal these vows. I hereby seal these vows. And promise to be your husband. And promise to be your husband. And to love you. And to love you. And to live with you. And to live with you. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Carmen. Take you, Aiden. Take you, Aiden. To be my husband. To be my husband. As you receive and accept this ring. As you receive and accept this ring, I hereby seal these vows. I hereby seal these vows. And promise to be your wife. And promise to be your wife. And to love you. And to love you. And to live with you. And to live with you. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Based on the vows that the two of you have spoken this evening before God and these witnesses, I pronounce you husband and wife. Aiden, you may now kiss your bride. Friends and family, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Harris. I've been sick and tired, being sick and tired, searching far and wide for something that feels real, and it's something that feels real. My soul chasing after things that don't leave me straight to you and oh, I'm lost in a feeling that oh, I came from this world that going back to eat it ain't gonna be easy but at least I don't need the money I don't want the fame I don't want what I can't take with me In the grave Oh, and I don't want to lose my soul Chasing after things that don't lead me straight to you